M0FXB, welcome to my channel. So we're going to load the OpenGD77 firmware onto our Retivis RT3S. And look here, and it does have to be the dual band model. It could be the MDV, MD390 model. So just have a look at some of these pictures here. You've got, look at that color frequency scan. I haven't seen how to do that yet, but I know that we can get satellite mode and we can do manual PTT and a much better control of the radio and functionality and even it maybe improve the the memory storage for our csv a talker alias and so much more so uh, follow the rest of the video it's going to it's quite a it's quite a few things to uh, you know to download first you're going to need the programming software from the original retivis rt3s so you'll find that at this link in the video and just click if you've got the gps version like i have RT3S GPS software. Click that and once it loads you'll be able to run it like so. Let's have a look. We'll just go start and then we'll just open it up there. And there it is there. To install the USB driver for your RT3S, go to the link provided in this description. Click RT3S USB driver, I've already done it there. You'll get this zip and then just run it and you will have the driver. 64 is the version I use, so I'm going to double click that. Click yes, I've probably already got it on my PC. I'm just going to run it through. So there's your link for the USB driver. Bye for now. Connect your RT3S to your computer using the programming cable. Once you've got the programming software open, select Control T and you'll get this window appear. And at the very bottom there, select Save Test Data, very bottom on the left. Now we're going to download the firmware for OpenGD77. Click this link here that says Download. MD UV380 firmware latest. That's the alpha firmware. Click that. Then we're going to click the, I'm going to go for the open one, not the JA one. So go open. And then we're going to need that bin file. So just show in folder. And I will just copy it. And I've got loads of folders here. Copy. And then paste it to, you know, where you're going to find it. So we've got GD7 files here and we're just putting all our files in here. That is open MDUV380 bin. That's an important one. For the latest OpenGD77 CPS or programming software, click this link here, which I will put in the description, then click the, the newest date. So pretty sure it's the one at the top. No, it's at the bottom. So we're going to click that. And then we'll run that, just click keep, and then run it. Click more info, run anyway. Yes. We'll run it through. Oh, it says I've already got it, of course. Next, create a shortcut install. And then look, install GD77 COM port driver. That's handy that it does that for you anyway and launch OpenGD77 CPS. And that's it, all launched. You're going to need the MD9600 donut file firmware. This helps and is part of the installation. So click where it says Passion Radio here. And then again, just open that and extract this whole folder into the same folder that you're using for your firmware upgrade. To check your radio is correctly connected to your USB and then port, just go right click device manager. This is what shows in your device manager when the radio is connected in firmware mode. So to put into firmware mode, hold down the PTT and the button above, turn on the radio that will put it in firmware mode and then the LED on top will flash red and green. Open your CPS, it will look like this. Now go to radio type at the top and select, because we're doing the RT3S, we'll select that one with the MD9600 here. 
then go to extras and go to extras firmware loader at the bottom there first of all we'll load up that file for the MD9600 so it's the select official donor file at the bottom there and there it is there and we'll double click it although if you can't find it find it in your file and you'll get this message the official firmware file has been verified and open firmware uploads will now have DMR functionality so basically without that it'll, it'll work but you won't have DMR now go to the MD380 and select open firmware file and update and at this point let's get the radio into DFU mode or firmware upload mode now select MD UV380 and then double click select open firmware file you will find that file that we saved the open MD UV380.bin double click it so to put into firmware mode hold down the ptt and the button above turn on the radio that will put it in firmware mode and then the led on top will flash red and green so double click that file for mdv uv380 and it will start the radio will look strange after the firmware update but don't worry this is normal, we now need to write the code plug to the radio. Now fire up your CPS again. You've got the firmware on there now. Go still on radio type 9600 MD380, go extras, open GD7 and now make a backup flash, just click backup flash and save that somewhere. Select extras, open GD7 support and at this point you can install the satellite keps which also sets the time and you can write the voice prompts by clicking here and other you can still back up and restore and you can read a code plug and write a code plug now we'll write the code plug that we've already made to the radio so all you do is go file open the, the code plug that you've made double click here this is a code plug I've made. Now you, I've made this on the GD77 software. So that's all in there now. We've got our zones, channels, and contacts. And it's, you know, channels, right click, and uh, right click, sorry, right click channels to add, right click zones to add. Then you can go into zones like so, and you can, you know, decide what's in your zone. You send them across. You can go to your channels and create whole channels, decide whether it's digital, analog, what frequency. You need to, if it's DMR, you need to choose your color code, the contact you're going to use, which is basically the talk group and the repeater slot. And your contacts are created here, just up on the left, digital contacts. Look, that's contacts, just anything you want, just right click, add, and then basically, yeah, choose group call most of the time. And then you can add the number. The number is more important than the name. Okay, and that's basically the talk groups that you're going to link to each DMR channel. But you can change, you know, you can create analog channels as well, just in the normal way. But remember, there's not a shift. You put the shift in, and then you choose analog power. And this is the timeout here, timeout on the right. And your tone frequency is is here, analog or digital. Name it, and it all appears here. And so we'll now write that to our radio by clicking the little red thing here. Write that to our radio. In the GD77 CPS, you can go to Extras and go to Download Callsign Database. And you can either import a CSV, you can download from RadioNet, Ham Digital, and then a URL there. The data record length, so the longer you have it, the more data you get, but the less space you're going to have. So that's nice and simple. And then you just write that to radio. So this is what the radio looks like when it's been installed. We've got black and white screen there, or white and black. And thanks to Roger, I've just taken this screenshot. And uh, have a look at the user guide. And we'll be testing every single function on this radio. Uh, satellite, talk alias, manual dial, PTT, DMR, analog contacts. We'll be looking at how it uh, keeps time. The, the, the satellite tracking is very interesting. And talk alias, so all the different functionality of this radio. Bye for now.
use a guide and uh, we've used it for a lot of what we've done. But we've also used uh, the forum page as well, which looks like this. And thanks very much to Roger and his video. It's been a great help. And just the, all the links that he's provided in, his, uh, in this page here, OpenGD77. A quick look at the user guide before we move on. There's a lot to read here and you get screenshots and a description of every single thing the, the, the radio does. Um, there's, well, I would say there's more because they're updating the firmware quite often. Short, short links are here. Instead of having to scroll through the whole thing, you can just quick link in here. For example, talk alias display there. And uh, if you scroll down, you'll get some nice pictures of the actual GD77 radio. Uh, there's some modifications that have been done there and more information so check it out that's the user guide so thanks for watching my channel hope this helps you uh, learning all the time watching my diary and learning together seven three